short while, Halo Reach will be launched into the hands of Halo fans, its resplendent glory set loose upon all those who walk the path, or at least those who stand in a really, really long line come September 14th. Halo Reach represents something special. After all, it's a prequel to the Halo trilogy, the warm center of Halo's grand and ever-expanding universe. For the die-hard multiplayer fans out there, Halo Reach represents something even more, the return of some of the most cherished maps in the history of Halo. But this isn't the first time maps have made a comeback in Halo, so the folks here at Waypoint thought it'd be great to take a quick look at the multiplayer environments of the past and revisit the maps we've come to love over the years. Halo's story began in 2001 with Halo Combat Evolved. Players around the globe discovered a legitimate reason to lug televisions and Xbox consoles to their friends' houses to play for hours on end. And it was in those early days that names like Battle Creek, Derelict, Hang 'em High, and Blood Gulch were burned into the collective psyche of the Xbox fan base, thanks to Bungie's stellar shooter. So in 2004, when Halo 2 was released, the announcement that we would see several returning favorites was sincerely welcomed. At launch, there was Coagulation, which would take the place of Blood Gulch, and Beaver Creek, which would replace Battle Creek. Arguably, the two most popular maps were back, with upgraded visuals and a few interesting tweaks. In the summer of 2005, Halo 2 would also see the return of Wizard in the form of Warlock and the Longest into a map known as Elongation. It wouldn't be until early 2007, only months before Halo 3's release date, that we would also see the return of Hang'em High and Derelict from the first Halo game, coined Tombstone and Desolation respectively. But even in the twilight of Halo 2, many people recognized that some of the most popular maps from the game had been brand new, never before seen play spaces. Arenas like Lockout, Midship, Zanzibar, Sanctuary, and Ivory Tower had taken center stage. So as Halo 3's collection of multiplayer maps were revealed, and as they grew over the years through DLC, we weren't terribly surprised to see some of these classic maps once again return. What was once Zanzibar became Last Resort. Maps like Valhalla and Avalanche, although not officially remakes, became the spiritual successors to Blood Gulch and Sidewinder. Lockout became Blackout, and Chillout became Cold Storage. And before it was all said and done, an almost pixel-perfect remake of Midship, now called Heretic, finally made an appearance. Now in 2010, we bear witness to Halo Reach, and once again we'll see a bevy of familiar remakes, this time around more than any other Halo title before. In Reach, Bungie's introduced a little something called Forge World, their most ambitious multiplayer space ever, one bearing the glorious tone and texture of a mountain-strewn, evergreen-laden Forerunner Vista. Forge World is unique in that it is so large it includes a number of individual smaller arenas, arenas which you will no doubt recognize from previous titles. First up to bat is Hemorrhage, one part Blood Gulch and one part Coagulation, but all parts awesome. This map combines the base structures of Halo 1, the terrain layout of Halo 2, and reaches robust sandbox for some truly insane large-scale combat. Then there's Pinnacle, the return of Halo 2's ascension, the abandoned relay hidden in the murky heights of Delta Halo, now turned into a lush, sun-dappled summit soaring high above a forerunner ocean. And Asylum, the symmetrical sanctuary of Halo 2 fame, a memorial relic fashioned by the gods. Now this fan favorite hangs on the edge of a cliff, highest point in Forge World, offering a breathtaking view. That is, if you're not too busy with other things. And if that wasn't enough, Bungie's hinted at even more potential remakes in their recent Forge Vita. And outside of Forge World, located somewhere on the surface of Reach, you can find Reflection, the elegant and graceful remake of Halo 2's Ivory Tower. Though there's been some aesthetic changes throughout, overall the map accurately reflects its predecessor's finer points. No pun intended. Halo Reach is set to break all expectations and finally give players an opportunity to return to the classic maps of yesteryear, whether by offering it outright or letting fans make their own versions in the incredible and unprecedented Forge world. This is Vociferous with Halo Waypoint. Get ready for Reach, folks.